Hey everyone, this is Ahmed from Chazga by Engineering and in this video we're going to uh, do some more 2D sketching. This is another video from the series of 2D sketching and it does not cover uh, 3D modeling and depending on uh, when are you watching this video, I will um, start uploading 3D modeling videos and assembly videos after we're done with the 2D sketching. So in this video we're going to be making this circular um uh part sketch whatever you call it um and we're gonna go through some basics of how we can make something like this and how we're gonna make use of circular arcs and circles to uh develop something like this to sketch something like this so without any further ado i'm gonna uh, ask you to if you like this video just drop a like leave a comment if you have any questions and subscribe to the youtube channel because why not uh, and turn on post notifications if you want to keep updated on when I upload any latest video. So, uh, with that out of the way, we're going to jump into the sketching. Um, so, yeah. So, as always, I'm going to use the XY plane, press sketcher, and start running. So, if you notice here, this is mostly um, circular sketch, and we have a lot of circular arcs. I think every, pretty much everything is. Um, can be made by using circular arcs and circular properties. So we're gonna first of all we're gonna make this first circle and then we're gonna make these two construction circles and these uh, vertical and horizontal axes and then we we're gonna make the and uh, this 30 degree axis as well. So yeah, let's get into it. So I'm gonna use the circle, make a circle. The um, radius of this is. 67.5 and then I'm going to make the vertical and horizontal axes doesn't matter how long they are they're just going to be used for construction purposes then this vertical mm, there you go and then we, we have this 30 degree uh, axis as well. So we're going to make those as well. And we're going to make them 30 degree to the horizontal. 30.0 degrees. And then we have one more here as well. It's going to pass straight to, through the origin. And it's going to have a 30 degree with respect to the origin as well respect to the horizontal 30 degrees so and then we have the inner two construction circles with 48 degree 48 radius 48 unit radius and 34.5 unit radius so so before doing that I'm going to select this construction element I'm going to click this so what this does is uh, as and as I mentioned in my previous video this makes the whatever element you're constructing uh, whatever element you're making as a constructor a construction element and so I'm going to be used as an actual standard element in your sketch um, so the radius of this is 48 and we have another construction circle and the radius of this one is 34.5 so it's very close there okay and then when we have another circle, it's not really a circle, but it's like arcs. So this one basically. So the radius of this is 60 degrees. So we're going to make that as well. So, and we're going to uncheck the construction because this is a standard element. Um, it's going to go straight through the origin and right here. And the radius is 60 units. And this does get quite a bit confusing, uh, like as we go on uh, to uh, um, constrain this, because uh, all these constraints it does get quite a bit messy. But never fear, because I'm gonna try to make it as clear as possible. Um, okay, so we have, so we got we got the basic outline of this uh, out of the way, and then. Yeah, so now we're going to start off with creating this one. So we have two circular arcs here and here, and then we have tangential lines uh, joining these two arcs. 
um, over here. So we're gonna make this. Um, yeah. So if you notice here, the center of this arc is the upper construction circle. The uh, upper construction circle and the center of this arc is the lower construction circle. So we're gonna make use of that property and join this with this. So you see that it's tangential here uh, because this line is passing through the circle so it makes it kind of, uh, um, what do you call it, uh, tangent, sorry. So we have to make sure this is coincidence, yeah, this is coincidence. And one more thing you notice here is um, if you try to constrain this, if you try to reduce it, it's going to make it fully constrained. That is because uh, we're already constrained it we've already like constrained two times so we have a fixed fixed distance between these two circles and then we have this um in the center of the circle uh, on the uh, on uh, which it, and the center of the circle is coincident on the this construction circle and it is passing tangentially along the circle so this is quite fully constrained already so we don't have to um give it a radial dimension which makes it over constrained and so for the next circle, we so for the lower arc, we're gonna put it on this lower circle, lower construction circle, and we have to put the circle here. And then I'm gonna um, uh, ready and uh, ready dimension it as six units. There you go. And then we're gonna use this by tangent line to join these two circles. There you go. And there you go. So we have this ready. We just have to trim out some of the parts of this element. I'm going to use the quick trim, double click it, and I'm going to start trimming some parts of this element, this sketch. So now we have this, like, um, this uh, sketch ready. Um, if we turn these off we can see here that this is um if you so one more thing i'm noticing here is that we still need some a bit more trimming over here because you still got something protruding out of this arc um so i'm gonna go like carefully so like do this Oops. and i have to zoom in there you go and there you go and let's see if they are tangent yep they are tangent to each other perfect so now we have this sketch ready um, so so if you remember from one of my previous videos um, uh, I try to see the symmetries in any sketch that I find so it, it's going to be highly inefficient if I draw it two more times over here and over here um, so what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the mirror property and I'm going to mirror, I'm going to basically copy and paste this two times over here. This is why I use this uh, 30 degree axis so that I can make use of this axis and I'm, I can create, I can like copy and paste uh, this over here, um, this sketch over here and over here as well. So I'm going to select all of this thing and I'm going to mirror it um with respect to this axis so if i do that it's going to create an exact copy with all the constraints um over here so if i try to move it it won't move it means that it's fully constrained so, and i'm going to do that same thing again along this axis so i'm going to select all of it mirror it along this axis and it's going to create an identical copy with all the constraints here um yeah so we got these out of the way and now we have to constru construct this one, this um, part, if you want to call it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the central circle, which, is gonna have, which has a 19.5 units radius. It's going to be here. I'm going to dimension it. 19.5. There you go. And what else? So if you notice here, we have these these lines which are joining the circle, and then we have arcs here. So we got one, two, three, four arcs here that we can extract from circles. 
And again, we're going to make these two arcs, and then we can, we're going to use this axis to replicate it over here as well so that we don't have to draw it again and again. So we're going to make these two arcs, basically circles, and then we have, we're going to use the bitangent line to join them. And then we're going to use the parallel property to make these two sides parallel. And then we're going to dimension them as six units apart from each other. So to do that, we're gonna, I'm going to make a circle here whose center is going to be on the construction circle and it will be tangent to this um, uh, circle. So if I try to dimension it, it's 12 degree, 12 units and it's 12 units. So we don't have, we know that it's fully, we know that it is the correct dimension and it's over constraint. So we're going to remove this. Um, so we're going to make one more circle here. Oops, sorry. I'm going to remove that. I'm going to make it again. And this is going to be tangential to the circle. And the radius of the circle is going to be 6. 6 units. Yep, there you go. And then we're going to join these two with a bitangent line. Like that. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make these two sides parallel. You, I'm going to select both of these two using the control button and I'm going to go here with the constraints to find dialog box and I'm going to make them parallel to each other. Okay. Again, we have to define the distance between them because our, this is not fully constrained at the moment. Um, yeah, so let's select both of these and I'm going to dimension them as 6 yeah, which is right over here okay perfect now I'm going to select these um, elements and I'm going to mirror them um, with respect to along this axis so I'm going to select mirror and they're going to be it's going to create a identical copy on the opposite side as well so we have the rough sketch ready, so now we only have to uh, remove certain um, trim some certain elements out of it. So I'm going to use the trim property, quick trim, uh, and I'm going to double click it. And I'm going to start removing certain aspects of this sketch, of this element here. Uh, there you go, and there you go. Perfect. So now we have the basic. Uh, mm, outline ready. Mm, let's see if we got some. Okay, now it's perfectly ready. Um, so again, we're gonna use the. Uh, I'm not gonna make three, two more copies of the same thing again. So, but I'm just gonna use the exact same thing I'm gonna, I used here. I'm gonna use the mirror property, and I'm gonna copy all of this. And I'm gonna basically mirror this whole thing. On on here and over here as well. So I'm gonna, first of all, I'm going to select all of this. Uh, there you go. Oops, sorry. So yeah, I have to trim this. So uh, dun, 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 dun. there you go. And I'm going to select select all of them. Here. So this mirror probably makes your life so much easier uh, because I remember where, when in my first year, I used to, uh, I used to, I, I, I used to not find any symmetries in the sketches before in my first year of uh, mechanical engineering, and it took me so long uh, to draw certain uh, parts of where I could do it more efficiently using these certain properties. Uh, the mirror ones, the mirror property, and some other properties that we are going to discuss in the future as well. So I've selected all of it, and I'm going to mirror it first along this axis over here, and I'm going to select all of it again. And there you go. And I'm going to mirror it along this axis here as well. So we got perfect copy of it with fully constrained. Um, so yeah, it's almost ready, but first thing we have to remove the certain trim. We have to trim these parts as well. So these lines, certain lines here. Yep, removed. 
removed. Yep, so now it's perfectly ready. Um, so you can see the actual figure here correctly because of all the constraints here. Um, so I'm just going to remove all the constraints in the figure and you will be able to see it correctly then. And there you go. Oops, sorry. There you go. So now, oh sorry, I'm gonna have to still have to trim some parts here. There you go. Yeah, now it's perfect. There you go. So yeah, so this is how you create um, the, the these kind of geometrical figures. Um, again, I'm gonna say is that try to find symmetries and symmetries in the sketches before you start to draw it. Before you start to draw, uh, before you start to sketch in sketch in Kedia because it makes your life so much easier. Uh, you can still do it the other way, but you don't have to, you don't have a lot of time when you're you know, drawing uh, certain sketches. So yeah, if you have any questions, just drop it in the comment section below and or DM me on my Instagram. And yeah, subscribe to this YouTube channel if you like this video and you can drop a like anytime if you like this video as well. Um, yeah, so I'll catch you. In, so this is all for today and I'll catch you in the next video.